I've got to admit, I'm actually kind of jealous of NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. The man has the impressive ability to take no responsibility for his own actions, just blames other people for the things he does, and doesn't feel bad for doing it like some sociopath. The man walks into Parliament every single day and helps Justin Trudeau and the Liberals make life worse for Canadians, and then he simply waltzes out of Parliament and then stands in front of a camera and says, I can't believe the Liberals and Conservatives did that to people. Jag me, it's you doing that to people. I, it's such a trite point at this point, but you're literally in a government with Justin Trudeau. Like, just watch this clip of him talking about housing and immigration and pretending that this is just an issue of the liberals and conservatives not taking enough initiative while he's in a minority government situation with Justin Trudeau. It's ridiculous. That instead of focusing on the solution of building more homes that we can afford, we're seeing liberals and conservatives starting to blame immigration as the problem when they should blame themselves for having not taken this seriously. The Liberals were in power for almost nine years. They could have built affordable homes. Before that, the Conservatives were in power. Neither of them actually built affordable homes. Both of them allowed affordable homes to be lost and were in this situation because they did not take this seriously. And now we're living the consequences of their inaction. Now, just a couple of things on that clip. One, housing prices under Stephen Harper and the Conservative government were way better than they are today. Housing prices have almost doubled since Harper was in around 2011, 2015, during the majority government era. So, no, this is not a conservative problem. And two, like, what do you mean? Like, the, the liberals and conservatives haven't been serious enough about the issues. They haven't been serious enough like me, Jagmeet Singh. They need to wear more black turtlenecks like I, and maybe we could solve this problem. They're just blaming immigrants for for not having built enough houses. Jagmeet, we cannot build enough houses to house more than 500,000 new immigrants a year. And that's not counting temporary foreign workers and students. It's insane that he thinks that this is something that we can just build our way out of building affordable homes. Government subsidized affordable homes are not going to remedy the situation. Affordable homes that the government subsidized are usually the slowest built and most expensive. And just because you give it to someone for like $400 a month doesn't mean that we provided an affordable home. We actually gouged taxpayers and gave someone a deeply subsidized home. But Jagme Singh, what have you done over the past almost five years of being in government with Justin Trudeau? You could have spoken up. He's over on the other side of the table with you. And you just go out in front of cameras when Justin Trudeau's not around and says and say, like, Justin Trudeau and the conservatives need to take the issue of housing more seriously. What? Here's another clip of him trying to attack Pierre Polyev because someone once donated to Pierre, and that means, I guess, Jag meets better on the issue of housing. Pierre Polyev doesn't care about the cost of your rent, and I'll tell you why in 60 seconds. Remember this video? Pierre Polyev was really angry about this micro unit, $2,000 a month, and he said, this is so horrible. Well, guess what? It turns out that this building behind me that he complained about is actually owned by one of his biggest donors. He's not gonna take on corporate landlords. He benefits from them and he works for them. He doesn't care about bringing down rent. He cares about serving the corporate interests. The corporate control conservatives are in it for you. You Democrats are, we're gonna build homes you can actually afford. How is Jagmeet Singh going to build homes? Is he going to get out there with his own NDP crew of people and start putting up houses? Pure Polyev's plan actually makes sense that we're going to force municipalities to deregulate their home building sort of industries, make it so that they don't have as restrictive zoning laws and that building codes are not so rigorous to follow, that no developer can build a home for less than a million dollars in some of these municipalities. And also, who's been running like the Vancouver, like the Vancouver area? For the past few decades, it's always been NDP and liberal type politicians who have been making those units cost $2,000. You come to Calgary and even with mayors like Nahid Nenshi and Jody Gondek, because our provincial government's actually pretty good, our housing does not cost nearly that much. Still too much because we still have restrictive zoning laws and really bad building codes, but still it's way better. But what's Jagmeet Singh going to do? He keeps saying, well, we're going to, the NDP is going to build more affordable houses. We'll force Justin Trudeau to put like a billion dollars towards affordable housing. He could do it if he wanted. He can basically just hold Justin Trudeau's feet to the fire and, and threaten an election if he doesn't do what he wants. But Jagmeet Singh, frankly, sucks at politics. So he's terrible at actually getting his way. Here's something else he posted to Twitter the other day. It makes no sense based on the current position he's in. 
So he said, in Edmonton and across the country, Canadians are uniting in our fight against corporate greed, lower grocery prices, homes you can afford, public health care when you need it. The liberals and conservatives are, have favored the ultra-rich. I'll be prime minister for the people. Okay, one, Jagme, you're not going to be the prime minister. This is something that else that impresses me of Jagme. The man is the biggest thing ever in his own mind, while having absolutely no real impact on Canadian politics whatsoever. And here's him just blaming other people for the things he did. Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh ran up a massive deficit in 2020, 2021, 2022, and 2023, and just increased inflation massively with their out-of-control spending. And now he's trying to blame like Galen Weston and Loblaws for having to respond to the fact that there's just way more dollars out there inflating what everything costs and they've responded by raising their prices as they should. Every study shows that the gro that the grocery stores are not actually making more money on the groceries themselves. Yes, you can point to Sobeys having a quarter where they made 33% more money than they did the previous year's third quarter or whatever. That's because they had to sell an entire gas station chain in order to keep above water. Jagme Singh doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, What was the second point there? Oh, homes you can afford. Jagme, if you don't slow down immigration, how are any of these houses going to be affordable unless the government's just going to mandate that you must sell a house or rent a, a unit at a specific price, but all you're going to do is just get landlords to take their units off the market because it's not at all economical, and they're just going to sell the building, and if you try and cap what they can sell the building, they'll probably just burn it down for insurance money. This guy is just under the impression that if the NDP waves a magic wand over an issue, that somehow things will just be better. If the government comes in and passes the right regulation or rule, basically we'll be in a utopia. We just need him to write a bill that says everyone should be rich, happy, and, and be rich, happy, and married. And somehow life will be better if, the J if Jagmeet Singh's NDP does that. What was the third one there? Public health care when you need it. How are you going to get public health care when you need it if Jagmeet Singh is the same guy who thinks that we don't need to lower immigration? How are we just going to build like double the amount of hospitals we currently have? We do not have the budget for that. And how are you going to get the doctors to occupy those hospitals? Ho healthcare is also a provincial issue. So I don't know how he's going to do any of this stuff, especially when he keeps feeding in too many people for the systems provincially to handle. Jagmeet Singh is in la la land. He believes that in, in his own mind, if he dreams something happens, then it must be realistic for him to do. The man knows he's never going to be the prime minister, and he just chirps from the outside, pretending that he has no responsibility for the issues that we're currently experiencing. If he wants to be prime minister, he could maybe pretend like he, maybe he could act a little bit like it right now, show some leadership and make life actually more affordable from people in a way that doesn't involve just burning copious amounts of money, pretending like he's helping. Oh, goodness. This guy is just the worst in politics. Justin Trudeau's bad. I admit, I hate Justin Trudeau. Jagmeet Singh is like Justin Trudeau, minus the fact that he's prime minister. So it would be like Justin Trudeau's very lecturing speeches, but he doesn't even have the ability to put his money where his mouth is and do any of the stuff he's saying he's going to do. So Jagmeet Singh is still in fantasy land Trudeau in 2013, where I'm going to make life better for people, but he doesn't have to prove it because he's not prime minister. So he can just say whatever he wants. Ugh. Anyways, that should be it for me today. I have my usual give, send, go link for the legal defense case for the National Telegraph in the description below. It's a give, send, go link. We're being sued by a billionaire developer because he doesn't know what defamation is and he's just suing us for defamation with no evidence despite everything that we said about him being said already about by other people and it all being true. So if you want to donate to that, the lawsuit's already cost us $25,000 to defend ourselves. Really would help out if you donate anything. And then again, I, Wyatt Claypool, am running for the Calgary Signal Hill Conservative Party nomination. So if you live in this riding, except for the Green Briar and Bonus areas, uh, buy a membership and vote for me. Those two areas are being cut out when boundaries change because in April, Elections Canada is changing the boundaries because Alberta is getting a few more seats, thankfully. Uh, so if you live in the riding, buy a membership. Let's make sure we don't have a bunch of pro-lockdown red Tories representing strong blue ridings in Alberta. Anyways, other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.